Hey guys, uh, this is Mike, aka Prime. So uh, basically, I'm doing another video on um, how to uh, have a custom, um, like a wireless name, or uh, if you want to ever change your password. Um, this is what the steps you'll take to change your password. But a lot of people like have custom names. Uh, if you don't want that annoying name that your service provider gives you, like Comcast and Verizon and etc., like the those weird names that they give you and those long passwords, those annoying passwords that we hate. So uh, what we want to do is uh, you want to log into your router to do that. So uh, let's get started, guys. So uh, first off, what we want to do is you want to go to Command Prompt. So you want to right click on your Start menu, go to Command Prompt. All right, and you want to type in IP config and enter. The reason why we want to do this is because we have to know what your IP address to your gateway is. So you want to look up under your connection, you go to default gateway and you see your IP address is 192.168.1.1. See mine is that, yours could be, it could be different. Um, I know Comcast and then like Optimum use like 10 dot whatever. So whatever that gateway is number is, just record that in your head. All right, so close that out and then you want to open up your browser. And here now we're going to type in that IP address. So it's 192.168.1.1 hit enter. All right. Okay, so once that comes up, what you want to do is you want to type the the username and password. The default is usually like admin admin or admin password. So mine for Netgear is admin password. So I type that in. And then bam. Um, sometimes when you log in, it's going to ask you, hey, um, do you want to... Uh, basically do you want to change your password you can change it to whatever you want just you got to remember it to remember it all right so to change the Wi-Fi name and password what you want to do is you want to find something that says like wireless settings or wireless setup anything that says wireless so you want to click on that and then here we go so basically the name of your network is the SSID so the SSID is right here you see how mine says SSID broadcast so I want to change this to uh, something that I prefer so I'm going to change it to, I'm going to make it prime Wi-Fi, right? Um, and then, yeah, I would, uh, you should put the mode up as high as you could, probably like uh, 300 megabytes per second. And also, change the channel, either use 1, one 6 or 11, um, because you want to, you want your Wi-Fi to be on a different channel than other people around you. This will actually speed up your Wi-Fi as well. So you want to do like 1, 6, or 11. Um, I'm going to do 11 because you want to be on a different channel. All right. And then um, for the best, fastest uh, security, uh, you want to do is WPA2, all right, in the A AES encryption type. So this is the encryption type that you're... Um, your passwords have uh, or your network key uh, whatever you want to call it this is what you want to type in so I'm gonna type in for my password it's just gonna be it's gonna be password all right so this is a uh, that's for changing the broadcast name and then also what you want to look at is right here is the 5 gigahertz now a lot of people don't use it if you're close to it then you can use the 5 gigahertz but if you're not too close to it the 2.4 is going to be it has a longer range than the 5 gigahertz but you can change this as well um, so I'm going to change this to Prime Wi-Fi 5, all right? And then same thing for the encryption right here. You change it to whatever you want. I'll put it password, all right? And then you just hit apply. Now, once you do that, you should be all set. Uh, that's the very easiest way to do it. So just remember, you want to change the name by accessing the IP address. And that's it. So um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment if you have any questions. All right. Thank you.